Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about Google Lighthouse. What it is, how to use it in order to improve your website's performance. Also, to go over why anybody out there who is building a website today should know how to use this tool in order to improve their clients' websites. First off, my name is Jeffrey. I'm the founder of Lightbox Digital. We're a custom web design and development company, and we love building websites. All right, so let's get started. Google Lighthouse. It's a free tool by Google and it's super easy to use. Now you got two different methods on how you could use this. You could either install the extension directly into your Chrome browser or you could use Inspect Element. Let's start off with the easiest of the two, adding the extension to your, to your Google Chrome browser. I will leave a link to this inside the video description and you're gonna find it in the Chrome Web Store. Now this is like super easy and straightforward. You just go to the extension, you click on add to Chrome, then add to extension, and there you go. You'll see it right here on the top right hand corner, the little red lighthouse icon. So let's go ahead and use this now. We're going to practice this and try it on one of our clients websites that we are currently working on optimizing. So you just go to the website you want to test. Go to the icon, click on the icon, and you're going to get a pop-up. Now, first you want to check out your settings right here. And you have a few selections for your categories. You have your performance, accessibility, best practices, SEO, and progressive web app. We're going to click off the progressive web app since we're not testing it. But basically, you just click on what you want to test. Next, select if you want to test mobile or desktop. For this one, we're going, to test de we're going to test the desktop first, then we're going to jump over to mobile. So now that we have our settings set, just go ahead and click on Generate Report. It'll open up a new window and give it about a minute or two. While this is testing, let's go ahead and show how to find this and to use it inside uh, Inspect Element. Now, if you don't like using Google Chrome extensions, and if you are a developer that's more comfortable using Inspect Element, this method might be better for you. So first, go to your Inspect Element, right click, go ahead and go down to Inspect. And then inside the top tabs, you're gonna go over to Audits. And right here, you will see the settings and the selections. Once you have your settings selected, just go ahead and click on Generate Report, and it's going to do the same exact thing that the extension is going to do. So let's stick with the extension uh, and go ahead and check out a report. So here's our report. It gives us our score for our performance, accessibility, best practices, and SEO. And as you can see, there's a lot of work to do right here. It's not terrible, but we got optimizing to do. And what I love most about this is it breaks down everything and lets you know exactly what you need to do to get it to a 100 score. We'll go ahead and look at performance, for example, and everything has a drop down to it that gives you more information. Now, in order to fix these, that's going to take a lot more work on your part. We'll go more into those later on in another video. But for right now, this is just to get you started and to show you and just inform you that there is a free tool out there like this that is available for everyone and this will help you improve your website's performance. That's it for this video. I hope this is helpful. We're a new channel so we could use all the support to get started. All that good YouTube stuff, you know, subscribe, like, comment. It's much appreciated. That's all. Thank you.